Americans are compassionate people. Uh, when we had floods in Pakistan, the Americans helped out. When there were earthquakes in Haiti, the Americans helped out. When there was the tsunami that struck the, the, the Southeast Asia, Americans were there to help. And now that we have this environmental disaster in Hungary, I am confident Americans will be there to help. Uh, hundreds of families have uh, been displaced. Uh, people cannot go about their livelihood. And while the government is aggressively dealing with uh, this uh, uh, horrible uh, toxic spill and working to contain it and to help the families, uh, I know from my experience that helping the families takes more than just government. So we are reaching out certainly to the Hungarian-American community here in, in the United States, but also to Americans from uh, wherever their ancestry is who have helped with uh, the relief and so many other natural disasters to help in this case. And I'm confident that we'll be able to generate significant support to help those families who have lost their homes. I think that particularly the TV media has has uh, given great uh, recognition to this disaster, but you can't get it from the media. Uh, I know the Prime Minister has been to the site on a number of occasions, and when you actually visit the site, when you talk with the families, when you see a village that has to be uh, evacuated, when you see fields that cannot be used today and probably will not be able to be used for quite some time, it takes on a very different magnitude. We are going to be working very hard reaching out through charitable organizations like the Catholic Relief Services and Hungarian-American organizations. The Hungarian-American Coalition and the American-Hungarian Federation have both agreed and been designated by the Prime Minister and his government as recipients. Uh, so, so we're confident that those three organizations uh, have websites where people can access uh, them to, to make donations and uh, they will be reaching out, I will be reaching out, I will be contacting uh, other uh, prominent Hungarian Americans and other charitable uh, groups to urge them to join with us and I'm confident that they will. We obviously hope that there is tremendous help from Hungarian Americans, but beyond that they reach out to their friends and their associates and uh, urge them to be of assistance too. It's very important. Uh, uh, it's up to us. The families can't do it. Uh, they've lost their homes. They've lost their places of work. They've lost their livelihoods. And in a number of cases they've lost loved ones. And so it's our burden. It's our job uh, to raise the funds to, to make them uh, uh, feel confident in their family's future. The government, the Prime Minister are doing everything they can to contain it and to help the families. But I know from my personal experience that it takes an outpouring of support from around the globe. And certainly Americans have shown their compassion. And I hope that Americans rise to the occasion and help the Hungarian families. And I'm confident that they will. The Hungarian-American Coalition is involved. The American-Hungarian Federation is involved. And also uh, Catholic Relief Services. I've talked to the Archbishop, and he is going to be helping as well. Certainly, we're going to reach out to Americans to be of assistance. But uh, I'm confident that the Hungarian people within Hungary as well understand the importance uh, of, of helping their fellow Hungarians. And they are doing it now through the government. The government has been very active in making sure they contain the spill, making sure they help the families, make the, making sure they hold those who are responsible responsible for this disaster accountable, and that's important. Uh, but the Hungarian people, the Hungarian government can't do it alone, and that's why we want to help.